Well, about two weeks ago, I ordered a four-wheeler on Amazon, and it just showed up. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than the typical truck content because about two weeks ago, I purchased a four-wheeler from Amazon, and obviously, it just got delivered, so I'm super excited to unbox this thing, put it together, and see what it's all about. So without further ado, let's do exactly that. Thankfully, it is appearing to be in good uh, condition, did not get beat up on the way here. So there she is. There's actually a picture of it right there. It looks absolutely sick. X Pro Storm 125, dude. This thing is going to be so sick. Obviously, it's not for me. It's actually for my son. Every single Christmas, he asks for a little bit bigger four-wheeler, but he is sick and tired of electric ones. We hate charging them. So this Christmas, we're stepping up to our first gas-powered four-wheeler for him. This is awesome. This is like Christmas Day for me. Uh, unboxing a freaking crate. One last bolt hiding from us down here. Holy crap. Dude, he is gonna freak out. It looks so awesome. Get our tires off. Well, thankfully all the bolts seem to be the exact same size, which is a half inch. Cut our hub free. Take our shock mount bolt free. Pick this guy up. Turn our bolt through. And then take our cotter pin out. Undo this. Pop our tie rod right in. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is going to be awesome. Put our front tires on. Same deal with the cotter pin. We're going to have to straighten it out and pull it through. We're going to save it. We got nut little plates now we should just slip this on line the grooves up she's on there boom I seriously can't get over how freaking sick this thing looks. But now that we've got the wheels and tires on and aired up, we can roll it into the garage and work on it tonight because we're about to run out of daylight. All right, first time sitting on here. Why do I fit on it? <laughs> Once you get these started, you wanna go ahead and slide your handlebars to where the grooves on the bar line up with the brackets so they can bite down properly. We're gonna snug these back ones up a little bit. Lift this up to where we think it's going to be appropriate. All of these we'll have to adjust. But you can go higher or shorter. I think this should be about good right here. We need to go ahead and tighten up our lower shock mount. That is a 5 8 to hold it and a half inch to tighten it. We got a 16 mil. And then don't forget to put your carter pin back in there. There we go. So I do believe these are used with this, which has our neutral and reverse light. I think we're just gonna slip that right there. And slip that guy right there. It's gotta be how it goes. It's 
Gatsby. Okay. Come on. Work with me. Work with me. There we go. Should just slide it forward. Lock into place. Just like that. All right, let's go ahead and throw our front bumper on. The shorter bolts are gonna go on the bottom, 10 mil. They screw into the frame. And then up top, the longer bolts with half inch nuts are gonna go right here. Throw our little reflectors on here. 10 mil as well, thankfully. All right, next up, we are gonna be installing our little heel guards. I think this is how you do it, just over the bolts right there and kinda make it work its way into place. So you're gonna take this, one of these black ones, plastic uh, rubber washers to go through. We can, there we go. I bought it, line that up. Take one of your other washers and your 10 mil nut. Throw on the bottom of there. And let's tighten her down. Not going crazy tight because that rubber cushion is underneath there. Just want to have that get nice and snugged up. There she is. Just like that, that'll keep your kid from sticking his foot out here and running it over, hopefully. Now you got these little caps, these are gonna go over this little plate, covering up that nut. Give it a much, much better look. Got one for each one. Before you put the rear one on, make sure you tighten that nut down. It's a 15, 16. All right, now that you got that on there, Throw your little cap on. And she is good to go. All right, so this is pretty funny. I read in the instructions that it was supposed to come with a flag and flagpole, but I didn't see it until I just looked in here. <laughs> it was in the chassis. So uh, yeah, if you can't find yours, check up in there. All right, next up is going to be our rear rack. Bolts, run it through there. Should be another 10 mil, maybe a half inch right there. And you can kind of tilt this how you want it to sit, whether it be totally flat or at an angle. We're gonna do it totally flat. reflectors on I am opting for not putting the flag on for I guess I'd call it a safety reason it's gonna be sticking up right here if he goes to flip this thing I want him to be able to bail off of it without getting tangled up with what could be the flag right there sticking up so it's not even that cool I'm gonna just leave it off I think that would be the smart choice for pretty much everybody unless you're out in the sand dunes and I doubt you are with this so uh yeah I'd probably leave it off like I'm doing I want to go ahead and take our battery, get the plastics off. Comes with these guys. These are going to slip right in here so that you can screw your terminals down on them. There it is. Oh, yeah. All right, now before we do too much, we got to lock it in all the way down here on the back side. If you look around, you'll be able to see it. And that should just hook there and then stretch really far all the way down to here and we'll lock it into place like that. Once you get it to bite, you just screw it, screw it, screw it. Then it'll finally catch and you can tighten it down just like that. Now, Slip that over there. 
and it's covered. Do the same thing on the negative, of course. All right, our last step, peel the gas cap cover off. And then put this on. It does say you need to run at least 91 octane fuel in this. Here in Alabama, we're gonna be running 93 premium fuel. I'll pick that up tomorrow. We'll check the oil and it'll be time to crank this beast up. Also did forget this little cap. You just snap it down over those bolts we tightened earlier. So I have checked, it does have oil. We have filled it with gas down here. There is a fuel on off switch. We've got it turned to on. Choke is pulled up and we should put the key in here. Maybe push the brake. <laughs> Dude, there it is. Just like nothing. Baby little exhaust on here, which it did have wrapping on it. Make sure you take that off before it melts on there. Yes, similar to this brake light. Don't want that to be permanent. All right, let's, uh, let's try popping it down in gear. It's got a dual lever, which I'm guessing one is for a forward and one is for reverse. So let's hit the brake. Okay, that's reverse, neutral, first gear. <laughs> it's alive. I mean, I'm talking about there is barely any throttle. So I'm sure there is that set screw where we can give it some more throttle. This is definitely the for beginners. I don't want to run it too hard, just, just starting it, but. Oh, he's gonna go crazy. Check our brakes, front brakes work. Come on, baby. not getting quite enough throttle to haul me around here. This is also a really cool feature so you can ensure that they're not riding it when you don't want them to. So if you hit lock, just like that, you try to crank it, which my foot's on the brake, it'll spin over, but it won't crank. However, if you hit unlock, just like that. So. All right, so you wanna go ahead and loosen this nut and then you can unscrew this some, giving you more throttle. So now, it actually will pull my weight. Obviously, I might dial it back some for Knox, but then again, it's not super snappy or anything, but with his, like, uh, 100 pounds less than me, it probably will be a little bit more than me. But either way, let's roll. Rear brakes work a million times better than the front. But yeah, this thing came with a throttle barely even open at all. Which obviously they want you to be easy on it, break it in. It runs out pretty good though. I don't know exactly what the top speed is, but it's way faster than his, uh, his previously one.
Well, that little thing is freaking awesome. Definitely seems to be idling a little bit high in neutral, so I'm gonna try to figure that out. I'm sure something to do with the throttle cable right here. I need to loosen or tighten, probably loosen to uh, allow it when it's in neutral to, to simmer down, but honestly, that is freaking awesome. I'm really impressed with it and he is going to freak out. So I'm gonna play around with it a little bit more just to get that idle down a little bit in neutral, hopefully. Uh, and then I'm gonna put it up for Christmas. So <laughs> here you go, initial install and review of the X-Pro Storm 125cc ATV that you can purchase on Amazon for about $1,300 which compared to the competition, like I said, of three to four grand is really, really good. So only time will tell as far as longevity if we run into any issues, but I'll definitely let y'all know because I know for a fact he is going to ride the tar out of this thing. So definitely leave a like, subscribe. Be sure to check out the following videos. I'll give y'all updates. And of course, on Christmas, we'll have a video of him getting it and uh, taking her for his first spin, which hopefully he doesn't immediately flip it like his last four-wheeler but <laughs> either way hopefully y'all did enjoy comment down below let me know i'll see y'all on the next one